Recent research has shown a number of habits carried out by people with sensitive souls. And we maybe also have seen a lot of people who have a sensitive soul. Most of them tend to be deep thinkers. It's indeed not a bad habit, but sometimes it also has its drawbacks on them and even to the surrounding people. For a start, deep thinkers are clearly a valuable asset because they're able to produce big ideas, although sometimes they need more time to process things. Also, do remember that this kind of person tends to work alone, so you may need to give them some space to do their work. You can consider these following things that deep thinkers with a sensitive soul may have in common. As usual, if you enjoy watching this video, please help by clicking that like button below guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any interesting updates in the future. 1. They often listen to the same thing again and again. Someone who is very sensitive will always be asked the same thing. Why are you so sensitive? And hear the phrase, don't take things personally. This comes from their ability to easily feel and share their feelings with others, not always in a positive way. Sometimes, whenever they hear these questions or phrases, they just keep silent or even leave the conversation. 2. Sensitive people will think things through thoroughly before making a decision. They often analyze everything deeply and are exceptionally hard on themselves. It takes longer for sensitive people to make decisions. They put a lot of thought into whatever decision they want to make, and this can cause delayed decision making. They don't want to choose the wrong decision because they will feel so regretful when something bad happens to them due to the wrong choice. Somehow, they also worry about things that will happen in the future. A small thing can be a big problem for them. 3. They tend to work better when they are alone. In a more open office environment, sensitive people can barely play with their brains. When they work in a team, they feel like they're being watched. Well, they always have a feeling of worry that someone is paying attention to their performance and they are never ready to show something negative to others. As a result, this can reduce their productivity and sometimes they even leave the work unfinished. 4. They are more susceptible to depression and anxiety. If deep thinkers with a sensitive soul have gone through many negative things in their lives, they will be more vulnerable to falling into depression. This is because they have deeper thoughts about things than normal people. They think that the problems they face are so complicated and make their hearts feel really hurt. Of course, this is not good for these people because it will lead them to hopelessness. 5. Sensitive people tend to use their right brain and tend to be more curious and imaginative. The right brain is very closely related to how a person expresses their emotions. That's what makes them a person who is very powerful in recognizing the facial expressions of others. In addition, sensitive people are usually so imaginative and they also want to know the meaning behind everything. Not to mention, many sensitive people are very smart and they are also successful. 6. Highly sensitive people detect lies more quickly before others do. They are lie detectors. It is because they have a more detailed intuition and pay more attention to things. They will know when you are lying just from seeing your expression when you talk to them. They are good at reading people and notice whether you tell the truth or not. It is actually influenced by their deep thoughts and strong feelings. 7. They tend to let bad decisions affect them deeply more than normal people. If they make the wrong decision, they will beat themselves up for not choosing the right one. And since they're deep thinkers, they tend to replay the same scene where they made the mistake again and again. This can affect their feelings and they may also feel depressed when they deal with bigger trouble later. They think that they can't solve it and decide to give up even before they try to fix it. Sensitive people often find it hard to accept criticism. Never criticize sensitive people because it will be a nightmare for them. If you must criticize them, at least try to sugarcoat your words, but even that is enough to make them feel down. As I said before, they are deep thinkers, 
So when they are criticized, they will think about it deeply and ask themselves, what's wrong with them? They may not want to talk back to the people who criticize them, or even at least try to defend themselves. They will need to find a place to be alone to process things, since they feel like they literally just got stabbed in the heart. They don't enjoy movies with violent actions. If you know some people around you who like to watch comedy movies, documentaries, or romantic movies, but dislike violence or crime movies, you have to pay attention because these people may be a sensitive soul. A sensitive person doesn't like violence because they tend to have high empathy. When they watch these movies, their hearts beat faster, as if they can feel what the victim feels, even though they know it isn't real. So they will just leave it or change the channel since they can't take it. Something that is annoying for normal people will feel even more annoying for sensitive people. Since they're more sensitive than others, they also feel everything more intensely than others. Something that's just annoying for normal people will feel even more annoying for these deep thinkers. A sensitive person is easily offended even if it is just a small joke. They don't like to make jokes or being joked about. They only want to live and make friends normally. Sensitive souls see the world in black and white. While in reality, black and white always coexist. Sensitive souls can't really settle for all things grey. They always feel everything deeply and seriously. They don't know how to feel something in halves. They either love you entirely or not love you at all. So if you can't reciprocate to their love, they may decide not to love you at all. Well guys, those are all the things that deep thinkers with a sensitive soul have in common. While having a hypersensitive brain is a gift since it amplifies everything that you feel, but sometimes you have to be the victim of bad things in real life. People often misunderstood you think of you as too much or even think that you aren't fit in society. But don't be discouraged though, sensitive souls are deep thinkers and you have so much more potential that you can't ever imagine. Not all people are like you. You have a lot of potential, you have things that other people don't, which makes you really special. You are unique. You have the ability to turn any pain and darkness into something valuable that people will never forget. Yet, you have the power of a healer. You can be one of the healers in the world. Well guys, I think that's for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have something in your mind, don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to join our notification squad and also if you want to support me on Patreon you can find the link on the description box below. Well guys bye I'll see you next time.